Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video I've got your HO229 V3 gameplay. This is pretty much a UFO in game, and this is from a bygone time in War Thunder when uh, prototypey planes were being put into the main tech tree of, uh, of a lot of nations, and this is pretty much that sort of plane. So, believe it or not, this plane actually did fly. It was a pretty successful plane, and even though it did crash, it wasn't because the plane design itself. Rather, the engines flamed out. The engines had a lot of problems back in the day, but that's beside the point. This plane in War Thunder does have some yaw issues because, of course, it doesn't have a rudder, but it does have amazing, amazing, incredible uh, handling, and that is one of the main strengths of this also its rate of climb is a bit better than what it shows here not a ton better but it is a bit better that being said let's get into some gameplay and i want to see if this thing still rules the sky okay we're getting to our first combat here with an f3d1 and an a2d1 probably gonna go for the a2d1 looks like he's cutting in possibly will uh try to engage me not entirely sure let's try to knock this back nope and there's where the yaw comes in. Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. That yaw. But you are not going to be able to beat the nice turn radius on this thing. Holy cow, it's so good. Okay, let's try that. Nope, that's the yaw. Okay, now we can do this. That's how we do. Okay, he's already dead. Because of the yaw. Let's just go with the yaw. Yaw trick, yaw. Okay. Critical hit. You'd think those 30s would just destroy it, but I guess not. Uh, I'm so... Ooh, you know what? I mean, he's pretty much toast. I'm not going to be able to get him. So, I'm going to get on the tail. Uh, I hate the yaw. I hate the yaw. Oh, my God. It's so rough on this. This is one of those planes. It's an acquired taste extremely powerful and if you can avoid having to yaw it is really nice but of course that's kind of the issue now fun fact the Germans actually uh, developed something well they didn't really develop it but they they were going to implement it on the uh, ME262 the HG2 which would have been a butterfly tail and uh, that would have had some Issues somewhat similar to this. Okay, he's coming in, so I may as well, right? You want some? Huh? Huh? You want some? Okay. Man, I, I forget how fast these 30s fire, actually. Like, how good the shell velocity is. It's pretty good. Okay. And they also don't fire, like, the, the rate of fire is not too high on them. So you have it where you can conserve your ammo pretty decently with them, and they are very accurate. Okay, now let's get into a real fight. So we have ourselves uh, three F-80s. You know, initially they were considered to be P-80s, but uh, I think that they changed them all in-game, so, like, the P-80A5 is now the F-80. Uh, interestingly enough... Is he going to try to turn in on me? I hope not for his sake. But I hope that he just lines himself up. Ooh, okay. That's the thing. Uh, Allied fighters tend to be a little bit quicker than German. Well, at least insofar as early jets were concerned. Ah, uh, come on. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, I got a nice critical hit on him. See, like, the profile on this thing is just so thin that in order to actually hit it is not always an easy prospect. So let's go here. Okay, I knew he would do that. Come on. Guatemala. Nope. No, no, no. What did I just do? I did not do the right thing, that's for sure. 
Okay, got a critical hit. I'm the king of criticals. Ah, man. Okay. I don't think I'm going to actually hit him. I got four shots left. So, I'm just going to wait until I get up enough speed. Wait for him to do something. Then maybe I'll have two shots. The trick is not to follow his stuff all too closely. Got him! Oh, there we go! That is how you do it, guys. If you ever look into, uh... If you ever see it where you have, like, no ammo left, that is how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm actually really surprised my other shots did not take down the, uh, the other F-80. Really surprised. But anyways, eh, you know, I'm gonna go land back at base. As you can see, I've got a pretty high score for somebody who only has one kill. Because I think I crit two other planes, but they are not knocked, oddly enough. So I'm gonna go land here, see if we can get back up in the sky. If I do not get back up in the sky... And that indicates that I just decided to get to the next match, and at the end of this match did really nothing. So that said, let's take a landing. Okay, so it looks like it's effectively just me versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many people. I didn't really count that all too well, but seven people. Uh, they're trailing my Arado 234 friend here. I do not have much speed, being that this is an early jet. Oh, wow, my plane is jumping. Whoa, what's going on? What is going on? That was funky. But I'm still in the fight. I'm still in the fight somehow. Holy guacamole. Okay, I guess packet loss gets you at whatever time. Anyways, let's, let's get into the next match. What the heck? I'm going to keep this in this gameplay because... Man, tell me if that's ever happened to you guys. That was ridiculous. Man, I really wish that in this game they had the uh, some of these planes with Junkers Jumo 004 D and E engines. The E engines actually had afterburners, believe it or not, which would have been which like that would just be. Oh man, he just ignited! Holy cow! Woo! <laughs> The, uh, the Junker Zumo 004 E engines actually had afterburners, and the D engines were actually ready for production by the end of the war, and they, they were uh, more powerful, if I'm not mistaken, than the, uh, than the B engines, which are the engines that we actually see in-game. So that would be really cool if they had them, and uh, theoretically speaking, Gaijin, if they added the uh, ME-262HG one and um and hg2s which they said that they would possibly do years ago but they actually added those planes like i would hope they would um <clears throat> then we would actually possibly see those engines coming to game which would be awesome oh i'm missing this dude okay there we go two kills two kills not too shabby and i still have a lot of my ammo so that's one of the the best and worst things about this plane like when you have a plane like the, um, well, uh, MGs, right? Like, if you have HMGs like w what you have, like, with the M3 HMG, that has a tremendous rate of fire. Oh, this guy is committing. Okay, no. Ooh, I accidentally fired that off a little. They have such a tremendous rate of fire. Okay, I'm not even going to try it. He can just totally out, do whatever. But, um... The M3 HMGs have this ridiculous rate of fire, and so you're pretty much guaranteed to, to get a hit, or a kill, better yet, uh, if you just fire. And that's simple, you know. Uh, with this plane, however, you have a much... You actually have a pretty decent amount of ammo between each plane, but... Oh, wow, he's dead. Or not between each plane, but rather each, each um, cannon... And it doesn't really fire all too fast. Like, you can actually fire... Like, if you click, you know, decently... Like, you don't even have to click quickly enough. You can literally just click it, and you'll fire two shells. You know? Like that. 
and it's pretty easy. <laughs> but like with an M3, like every time you click, like there's a chance you'll fire two or three shots um, at a time. So it, there's a certain level of, um, I don't know, refinement in a way with a cannon setup like this, where I still have half of my ammo left and I was able to take out two planes. You know, uh, they're very powerful. They have enough speed, and it's not really something I have to worry about. Man, those, those are some really accurate AAs. <clears throat> so let's go in for this F2G. I'm going to climb a little. The problem with this plane, again, it, it kind of goes down to the engines. It's not quick. It's not a very quick plane. And so because of that... Ah, jeez. Okay, this guy may be lulled. Got him! Three kills! Three kills! And I, I only used, like, what, 30 rounds on that guy? That's it? Man, I love it. I love it. So I got three kills this far with this plane. Hopefully this makes up for the first match, uh, where I had, like, what, one kill and, like, two or three crits that should have been kills. But yeah, I mean, it all comes down to, to yaw. This plane is extremely unique in that way. And I really wish that, that um, Gaijin would at least consider introducing a plane like the YB... What was it? 49, if I'm not mistaken? And also the propeller uh, power variant of that. That would be so cool. You know, like, there are so many cool planes that Gaijin could add. Be around 7.0 BR... Um, 8.0 BR, it would be fantastic. You know, I would love to see the Ryan uh, Fireball, for example, in-game. But, of course, uh, I don't know if we will. And a lot of people say, oh, well, that'd be a great uh, event plane or a great, uh, you know, whatever. It's really typically a great event plane. That's the thing that you have. But nowadays, you only get event planes if they're, like, 3 BR and... Nope. Okay. Oh, jeez. Reverse jeez. Negative jeez. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Anyways, you know what, though? Four kills ain't too bad. But uh, before we get into the next match, just to finish the thought, you get event planes that are typically like, what, 9 or 10 BR? Typically around 10 BR at this point, and maybe like a lower one that's like 2, you know? Like, if, if they were to release a 5 or a, a 6.0, maybe even a 7.0 BR plane, it would either have to be in some sort of off event, like a World War II Chronicles event, or, which I think that they should bring back. Actually, you know what? I might try to land this. Or, they would have to, um, they'd have to, to make a third reward. Simple as that. And so, I don't really think that they're going to make a third reward. Uh, because if anything, they've been taking away rewards or reducing the quality of them. But if they did that, I mean, they they would really, like, bring back World War II Chronicles. They would be in the favor of a lot of people. So anyways, I'm going to try to land this. If you see that I'm in the next match, then that means I did not land successfully. Or I really stunk it up after I landed and got back in the sky. So I'm going to try to do this, but uh, otherwise, probably next match, but maybe the same one. If I'm not mistaken, I think that the uh, the V3, so the uh, the third version of this plane, right? Like, the fuselage is actually in the U.S. in a museum. Uh, I think the Smithsonian in D.C. And it was awaiting restoration, and for a while... Oh, please take a left. Oh, he's take... Or right, rather. <clears throat> and for a while, there was um, talk that... Hey, oof, that was... Buns. But for a long time, there was uh, talk that what they were going to do was restore the whole thing. But I guess they've only restored the fuselage, unfortunately. Because this would be a heck of a plane to see in full, but um, I don't think that they're going to do that. But, that said... There's been, like, there's a lot of talk, as I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know. Oh, this was a stealth fighter. You know, it was this, that, and the other. Nah, not really. I mean, it was just coincidental, and, and a lot of those claims were made after the fact, after the war. Okay. <clears throat> so, it wasn't really a stealth fighter. 
Like, they said, oh, well, we were gonna put coal on it, or coal dust, or whatever. Eh, not really. I don't think that they actually were uh, intending on this to be, like, some sort of uh, secret stealth fighter. I mean, of course, the thought is, is that if this was ready for the Battle of Britain, um, not only would it have been able to arrive in Britain quicker, but the radars would not have picked it up quite as easily, which is a legitimate thing. Um, but I don't really think that that would have... Um, I mean, all these what-ifs are just so bogus. They're such a... Um, <clears throat> I don't know if, like, if the word lazy... Like, they're fun, don't get me wrong. I love the, like, World War II what-ifs, but... So many of them are just so lazy, it feels like. Like, oh, you know, what if uh, Germany had waited a few months? It's like, nothing different would have happened. I mean, it's not like the world would have stopped production of, of their own arms. I mean, they were pretty suspicious of Germany. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, Germany was moving at a pace uh, that was faster than most of the Allies when it came to weapons development uh, and, and procurement. But insofar as actual everything, I mean, I, it wouldn't have... Ah, that sucks. It's not like the rest of the world would have just said, Eh, you know what? I'm gonna stop making weaponry. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's just... The whole thing is... It's just such a... Um, a lazy argument. Like, oh, you know, Germany would have won if they had just done this. That or the other thing. It's always if they had just done this. They hadn't listened to, you know, Hitler or something. It's like, eh... You know, and this is one of those planes that, that gets that treatment. You know, like the wound of... Ah, jeez. What an ugly thing. I'm going to get into one more match just to make up for it. But I'm going to keep this in the gameplay video just because I feel like I've touched on some fairly interesting points, if nothing else. But, um, you know, and let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Because I actually, years ago, I wanted to make, like gameplay videos where there would be like a topic where people would talk about in the comments. So maybe this will be the topic. But, um, <clears throat> you know, everyone's like, oh, well, if the Germans had ME-262s in 1941, it's like, nah, it would, I mean, it might have changed some things, you know, and may, may have lengthened the war, but out, outside of acquiring nuclear weapons, which they were not close to getting, um, you know, they were closer than, like, Cuba, <laughs> you know, but with the exception of, of like, acquiring nuclear weapons, I don't really know, or, or producing far more weapons and having far more people than they actually did, maybe they would have won. But anyways, let's get into the next match, and that'll probably be the last one. You know, one plane I really like in War Thunder that I feel like they um, haven't really given its full potential yet, and I'm not 100% on this, so when I'm about to speak, I'm... You know, again, I'm just kind of talking from somewhat, like, reading about it. But it's been a few months. But either way, um, with the F-84... Or not the F-84, but the F-4D, uh, whatever it is. Anyways, Sky Knight or whatever it's called. If I'm not mistaken, that was the first plane ever to launch a radar-guided missile and get a kill. And... If it had that capability in real life, why not in game? I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, well, that would be overpowered, and yeah, I suppose. But, I don't know. I mean, like, if it's a weak enough missile, <laughs> why not? Almost. Um, uh, gotta get my yaw, gotta get... Okay, this might work. Got him! Oh, he exploded. Wow! Okay, there's an F-89, I think, coming over. Nope. Not coming over, but he is going to have a good time meeting up with my 30 millimeters. Okay. Man, I... The one thing, like, this plane had 10% better acceleration. Oh, man. It would be so much better. Like, this plane is a dream to fly when it comes to maneuverability. Um, just in terms of just straight, you know, turning maneuverability. Uh, not so much, obviously, yaw. But, um, and if I'm saying that wrong, let me know in the comments below, but I believe it's yaw. Anyways, if this thing had just a little bit more power, it would really push it over the edge. Now, would those kill me? 
the the strings I forget I know the plane or the um, the barrage balloons if you hit them they will <clears throat> oh man yep he's toast So it seems as though we've pretty much wiped out the enemy team. Okay, I got one plane coming right in for me. He's going in. He's a suicide plane. Okay, I got two kills. That's fine by me. Because <laughs> I was not going to get anything. And uh, even though it's a head-on, uh, suicidal head-on, it does not matter. That being said, I've about had enough with this plane for the night. It's not, it's a great plane. Don't get me wrong, it has so many great strengths, but the two main weaknesses are its thrust and its ability to yaw because it doesn't have a tail. And so because it doesn't have a tail, we, we see a lot of issues when it comes to just making fine adjustments during flight, which is what ends up making this a very much boom or bust plane, unfortunately. So, that said, I still love this plane, but I'll save it for Air RB, or Air AB rather than Air RB, just because Air RB is just a pain in the tuchus. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please, at least with this plane, it's a pain in the tuchus. But uh, please, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the dealio. Let me know what you guys think about my gameplay in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear. But uh, either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.